Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Is that recording? Yeah, okay. Um, welcome. This is gonna be for Capricorn. I literally just got up on and bounced into this reading because I'm like, ooh. And this should be, this topic that I'm, I'm bringing up should actually be for um, the moon energy, but I'm, I'm telling you, like, no matter who you're talking to or anything in general, and you're the next one up, so I don't know if you're going to run into this, but I'm telling you, like, love my friends, but be extremely careful with who you're even picking up the phone with. You know what I mean? Meaning, like, um, especially if you're busy. Like, I knew I was doing readings, and I picked up the fucking phone anyway. You know, um, well, actually, no, I didn't pick up the phone. She was texting back and forth. And finally, I'm like, I just picked up the phone to be like, look, I'm working. I'll give you five minutes. And it ended up being half hour. Okay. And then it's like, every time you want to be like, oh, I got to work, I got to do this. It's like something new where she needs to talk about it. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, be aware that that energy is there. Okay. So if it's not happening to you, it's happening to someone else. So there's that. And you might get frustrated. I'm telling you, I, I, I got a cat moon. Trust me, there's, there's some things I don't I don't tolerate very well. You know? Um, but, hey. Y'all can do it. Y'all can do it. So, anyhow, this is going to be for my Capricorns. This is going to be for the last week, the, the rest of May 2021. Let me just usa, catch my breath. I had to go into Virgo like that too. Not like a lot, but um, what anxiety I had with, with Virgo. So I kind of, with them, I just kind of talked to them, you know, and it, it subsided. So I don't know. I really don't think that was chaos or just little things that might um, get the best of you. Mama bear might kick in. Papa bear might kick in. You know, but remember, it's just kind of was that. Capricorn, rest of May, please. I almost said guided by the light. And I always thought wrapped up like a douche, but it's a deuce. Um, I like that old time of rock and roll. The type of music just soothes my soul. Mm -hmm, this is not the day of old. I like that old time of rock and roll. So memory might be big memory. I almost said music, but it is memory. Because it's like reminiscent. About the days of old. So there's definitely with guide and, and contemplation here that's reminiscing. Did I do it right? Did I do it? This I'm picking up like, I feel like you're getting in your head. Some of you. And then I just went to a little bit of Monica in my life. Okay. So this is, this is positive. Could be thinking about the Divine Feminine right now, or this could be the Feminine. Um, but this looks like masculine energy. Someone is definitely thinking about a soulmate. Some are even deceased. And you're questioning whether or not it's time to move on. If that's the case, you're being guided to, but it's it's still on you. And if you lost a loved one, I'm telling you, like, there's a loved one here. Like, you lost your husband, wife, someone, your loved one. Like, a romantic partner, a soulmate, even a best friend. Um, you're being guided, so I, I would. My my advice would, would be yes, definitely. Um I definitely have someone's loved one here trying to relay a message. Just time to just yes, go ahead, you know, like um 
definitely free will. The worst is now behind you, and you're some months in previous challenges. Okay, so the worst is behind you. But um, <clears throat> creative writing, okay, make teams that write things down in a journal, pen. If you're traveling, you know, maybe take one with you. And you're kind of extra sensitive right now, okay? So especially with emotions and feelings, honor yourself and your feelings. So I did kind of feel that with, like, the loved one. That makes a lot of sense. But I think the definite, like, what I, whatever vibe I'm getting is, like, yes. I don't know if it's, like... Now, mind you, this message isn't for everybody, but, like, if this is, like, um, because I still have someone here. It's, like, um, some type of car accident. I don't even want to get into that. Um, like, yes, move on. I, I mean, I'm saying that so lightly, but I don't mean it like that. You know what I mean? Like, they're saying yes. Yes, I don't, I don't know how long it's been. It's like, it's almost like, I don't know if they're the ones bringing this person to you or this is just a major loss that you're going through and you're just turning a new leaf. Ultimately, it's up to you. The, this person and is like almost like ends up being your guardian angel. I don't I don't know how else to explain it. Not a guide, but somebody who um, most definitely wants the best. Like wants you to smile again. Like I, I feel like you're already in the smiling stage. Like, but it's like really contemplating. Like so, I don't know if you met somebody. And you're like man, you know. Because here it's like love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking about you or letting you know. Like that's definitely the message I just got for somebody. So whatever that's forgotten. If you feel like if you feel like somebody really came into your life for a reason or, you know, it's it's a big deal. Time to feel that again, you know, is, is the vibe I'm getting. So <clears throat> moving Clearing that, let's move forward. Ascending, transitioning, obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So some of you, like I said, it is it is a soulmate situation. You already know this person. Um, because that's right off the rip before I, before the death. And then a new phase, a rekindle, changed minds. So this is somebody who is not taking something lightly. Or this is you not taking something lightly. Like, this is serious. Damn. And we got paradise, happiness, joy, expansion, playfulness, enjoying each other. Okay, guys, get ready. Okay, because right now it's it's like, um, I just got the goosebumps. Like, right now it's, it's very low-key making a decision. You're, you're growing, you're evolving, you're expanding, you're ascending. No one's getting stuck in any void here. That's for sure. And you're being guided. You're being helped. You're uplifting yourself. It's like third eye, higher self. And it, it's like, it's a new phase, like I said, or it's a rekindle. Or you might change your mind, like, do I do I want it? Do I, you know, do I not? Some of you might see, like, a shooting star. Happiness, joy, expansion, playfulness, enjoying each other. So it looks like you're going to make the decision to go ahead. And if you're contemplating that, it's it's telling you, go ahead. It's, it's time. You're going to be happy. Especially if you're taking a little mini vacation or, or anything like that. It is Memorial Day weekend. I, I mean, I go camping, but this is like trees, sun, beach. Uh, I prefer a river. But I'm just saying in, in general, some of you p prefer mountains, you know. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the ocean. But there's something about the river. And the river can make me so emotional and sometimes I don't even know why it happens. Well, it's water, right? It's clearing. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time around. But in general, it is what it is, you know. So this is definitely a massive transformation to its Scorpio. 
So again, it's like this decision you're making or somebody else is making is is not is not like not taken lightly. It's it's like hermit, like coming out on top, you know, like definitely making the right decision. Whoa, smack that all on the floor, smack that, give me some more, smack that. Okay, so there's that. Tell me about guide. Some of you are, um, some of you are seeing dragonflies, not dragonflies, I said it, oh look at funny hermit, yeah see I told you, no joke, but lightning bugs. Careful you don't get lost in the woods. That's reminding me of like, um, I almost said Little Shop of Horror, Little House of Prey, but <sighs> Little Red Riding Hood. Like, I don't know if it's like something puts you in a, a trance-like state. This trance-like state here, which makes sense. You're ascending. So you wouldn't even realize it's happening. You could be in a trance-like state making this decision. Just careful you don't get lost. That's the woods. But again, that's like the hermit cat. This is the hermit. It's, it's the same thing. Like this, it's like once you go into hermit mode, you don't you don't ever come out the same if you're doing it properly. If you're doing it the right way, you got the two of cups again, soulmate situation here. Okay, so I don't think you need to worry about the trance. Just don't get lost because there's something tricky, right? Little Red Riding Hood. It's like tricky. Hansel and Gretel, tricky. So try not to, like, talk yourself out of something, if that makes sense. Like, you'd be tricking your own brain. Because this is positive. Someone's in trance-like energy. But it's, and it's, it's not really meditative, okay? It's, it's different. It's, like, alluring. So just be aware of your surroundings. Wow, well, three of cups is, is, is happiness with the magician. Like, you're, see, you're ready. You're manifesting. To me, you already manifested. So whatever you manifest is around is around the corner. Like, you're able to do it. Like, whatever you're about to take on, you can most definitely handle it. Let me just shut my ringer off. Sorry about that. Tell me about free will. This is so positive, guys. It really is. But again, be careful with your... Um, emotions. You're just really sensitive. Okay. And then free will, king of, king of wands. So it's, it's like, look at all that masculine energy. It's, it's like a masculine's making a decision which direction to go in, or it's you making a decision on a masculine. Okay. Um, but this is happiness. It's expansion. It definitely is a new phase. Ascending, yeah, peace. You know, making a decision. There's no blindfold on. There's there's nothing over the eyes. It's, it's making a decision. And it is going to bring peace. Princess of Swords. So, there's like a new phase coming to a feminine here. It's being brought by like a masculine energy. So you could be air, six of pens, um, could be earth. It, to me, it's just, you saw it's still kind of in the air. But it's, it's a new phase, starting new. Um, I feel like you're making a practical decision. So it could have to do, is the Taurus within you, it could have to do with the relationship and the tower. See, it's, it's like out of nowhere. So that's just, this person wants to communicate. Um, so this energy knows you've been hurt.
This is like making a choice. Well, we knew that. Looking at memories, missing your nostalgia, making new memories. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't a third party here. There could have been, but right now it's, it's definitely not about that. It's just something that's like out of the blue. So whatever decision you're making, you're not taking lightly or somebody else is not taking lightly. This is, this is, this is literally beautiful. So somebody is literally nervous. King of Pentacles is worried. Of, so this is somebody that's hot and cold. It goes from positive to negative. It's like they want to invest, but their last investment did some damage. So take it slow. Right now, they're kind of keeping an eye on you, watching from a distance. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Could Any sign, guys. Yeah, see with the Empress. Ten of Pence. Tower. So that's something that's over. There's money linked to this, too. So somebody is losing some type of money, especially if there's, like, a divorce. But I wouldn't... I don't see like, it's almost like this energy is about money. This is a whole nother story here with the Empress and the Ten of Pence. Could be your boss. Breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, taking a chance, risk. Adapting, changing, healing, finding out. So it's like someone's finding out someone's going in a new direction. Girl with a snake at the bottom of the deck. So I don't want to get into it that much because this was so freaking positive. I don't think you need to worry about that. I think the bigger message here, guys, is someone really got hurt in a previous relationship, whether it was you, them, death of a family dynamic or money or relationship or an actual death or you know what I'm saying so it's like hesitating to get in but it's it's free will but I will tell you this one energy is is more right now thinking of, of negative versus positive but I it looks like that will shift so I'm just gonna take this off the board because I don't even want that energy there um because it's just it's it's not necessary it's this person needs to take control of their own brain you know what I mean and it's just past pain you know like oh what do I do yeah judgment all right so I understand that everyone has a unique path in their challenges so this energy is worried about being judged for the direction they're going in. So we're not quite out of this, but it's this is what's coming and it's absolutely beautiful. Honestly, because it looks like it's gonna happen. Paradise, enjoying each other, playfulness, coming together. You know, could there have been a, a situation, but yeah, but I know this person brings me happiness. You know, was I already in a relationship? Now looking at the memories and it's like all linked. Like this is somebody who's more of a pessimist than an optimist, but um it is, it's going to be a nice shift. This person just needs to push through a few more things. And they're big, the big deal. It's a big deal. So just know if someone comes at you within the next week or you at them, I'd really consider what this is or what this person's trying to say or what they're getting at or what they want, you know, because it looks, it looks really good. It looks like it can really go long term here with something. Friendship, lovership, soulmate, situationship. All right, we'll continue this on Patreon. I love you guys. I hope you have a kick-ass week. Bye.